Okay, so today we are going to be dissecting a extremely Chinesey drill master drill. Um, let's pry this thing apart. Lol, or LOL, this thing has, um, uses hex screws to get it into it, so you know what that means. Here's the little handle thing, and the little rubber thing. It literally just peels right in half. I was at the flea market today, and I'm probably not going to be going back for a while. It was the one I, I got lucky with TVs at for a long time. Um, but I was looking at the same guy he has. And for those of y'all wondering what flea market is, it's the Old Mar flea market. I was out back in the back. And there's one guy, he had some... They were brand, they were made in Japan, I think. They were... AM, FM, cassette, 8-track, and clock radio. I think V, v Westlife did a video on one. It was an I'm a Craig. But, um, the guy said the cassette deck didn't work. But the 8-track did, and the radio did. But, and he said he's not give. he's going to try and fix it. And he, he's known for worfing the prices and he has a Caliphone record player. It's, oh, I'd say it's no older than the 80s. It's a blue and white model. There's a white, white, ca or the black case, and kind of beige, tan, whitish motorboard and blue lettering. Um, it had a um, $100 price tag on it. I tried to talk him down. No, n not budging. The thing works, but it's not worth a hundred dollars. For that price, I could, I could just as easily get one on eBay and not have to leave my fucking couch. Not have to leave home, and I could get it shipped right to the fucking door. I come to the flea market to get a deal, and then there's people selling. It's 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 gone from like old junk, cheap old junk, to new garbage that's overpriced. And he had um, one of those Thomas reproduction radios. It's it looked like an old um, like the old phonographs, like the old acoustic ones with the horns. Um, it had some little 78 glued to it. I think that was done from the factory as kind of like a joke kind of thing. But it had like it just. I should have taken a picture of it, but. Um, it had a cassette player in the side. That's kind of a dead giveaway that they're not that old. That shows their age, I guess, because all those had cassette players. Now the the crap has Bluetooth. So I guess, I guess cassettes are the or the Bluetooth the new cassettes. But um, oh, you know, it had a measly sticker on it that said fifty five dollars. Then I saw. I don't know if it was the guy that guy. Best I could describe what he looks like is a, he looks like a walrus. Um. Anyway, he. I don't know if it was the guy selling it or whatever, but um. There's there was one. It was a Philco console stereo, and it, it's FM. It's it's it was. Definitely from the time of 8-track, so the 70s. I, I didn't even, I didn't know who was selling it. I didn't even begin to ask, because I knew it would be like, oh, it goes for this much on eBay. And eBay's turned into just shit, just shit. And then if you want to try and sell on there, you got to fork over your bank account info to eBay. And I'm like, yeah, fuck that shit. So it's really, like, not, like, <laughs> good anymore. There's like really not any good stuff anymore. So I mean, all you find at the flea markets is shit, and all you find at the thrift stores is just shit, and it's just awful. 
So either I just need to enjoy my collection and stop parting shit out and just, I don't know. But hopefully that over Christmas break, hopefully I can go to the flea market and I just hope that, I just hope and pray that I can find some good electronics there for non-worth prices. Because eBay has gotten way too fucking expensive. Um... And with this whole supply chain shit, I bet it's it's got even more expensive because people think that oh they're they're trying to either drugs must be really expensive or they're just trying to make a quick buck because they're hurting for money. Um, but like I said, hopefully I can find some good good electronics at the flea markets over break because I mean there's not really many around the only ones that are he around here that are within a 50 mile radius oh there's probably one two three maybe two three I don't know I know the one that's the closest is oh maybe four um is Oldsmar and then there's one it's a drive-in it's a drive-in movie but it's in a really 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 sketchy part of town which yeah that, you know it's called Funland Swap Shop then there's the Plant City Flea Market and yep there's no more Big Top there's no more Wagon Wheel there's no more Gun Highway Flea Market. It's sad. And I heard, I think the guy, some old fucking dude, like in his 60s, bought, like, bought the Wagon Wheel and Gun Highway off the people who were gonna, the developers for a whole hell of, hand load, a whole bunch of money. He, like, collects land. Um... And you know what? You know what the smart thing to do would be? Is um, open those back up. Is open Wagon Wheel and Gun Highway back up. And invite some new ven good vendors there. That's what would be the smart thing. But you know what? It's no. They don't care about other people. They just care about themselves and money. So, because you know, everything's got to be about money. But yeah, there's like virtually no good flea markets around here. Now I do want to try a couple. Um, it's just awful. And hopefully once this all supply chain shit caused by Brandon, hopefully you'll settle down here shortly. But probably not. And hopefully the eBay prices will go down, but I doubt that. And also one thing that we all should take away from all these companies that import shit from China, what we should all take away, what they should all take away from it is we need to stop, we, not, we need to bring manufacturing back home. Like electronics, like houseware, we, we need to, yeah, we need to bring it back home. We need to quit relying on foreign countries to provide us with that shit. So sure it's cheaper, but the shit's going to last longer. And just think of all the electronic waste that's going to be prevent if the if the shit lasts longer. That's going to be good for the environment. Not so people wouldn't be throwing it out every 3 years and buying another one, but no, that's what they wanted want you to do is they want you to buy it, throw it away into the garbage where it'll pollute the environment and then or just put more junk but yeah they should really bring manufacturing back home and start making high quality American made goods here because shit that's made here is better it always is so that's my two cents um remember let's go Brandon oh and also I hope y'all all you liberals that voted for Brandon I just hope you all just love it I hope you love what he's doing I hope you're so happy I hope I hope you just ha hope you're happy because you just had to 
get the mean the the orange man out of office because of his mean tweets and his. Oh, hope y'all are fucking happy. This is what I have for you, Brandon. Trump may have hurt your feelings, but Biden's hurting your family, your freedom, and your finances.